Amen. So today we're going to have a kind of a coffee shop vibe for our worship set. So we're going to allow you to choose how you would like to sing the song. So if you want to stand, by all means, please stand to your feet and join us as we sing the songs. But if you want to remain comfortable and seated, that's cool too. So let's lift our voices as we worship the Lord this morning. I give you glory for all you brought me through. And now I'm ready for whatever you want to do. And I'm moving forward to follow after you. And now I'm ready for whatever you want to do. Your presence is an open door. We want you, Lord, like never before. Your presence is an open door. So come now, Lord, like never season, your grace has been enough, and I'm believing that the best is yet to come. Yes, the cross. The cross before me, my hope on things above, and in you, Jesus, the best is yet to come. Your presence, your presence is an open door. We want you, Lord, like never before. Your presence is an open door. So come now, Lord, like never Breakthrough is coming in my faith. Yes, I see a miracle. Cause my God, He made me a promise and it won't stop now. It won't stop now. I know the breakthrough is coming in my faith. Yes, I see a miracle. My God, He's made me a promise and it won't stop now. My God has made me a promise and it won't stop now. Yes, I know. Cause I know a breakthrough is coming in my faith. Yes, I see a miracle. And my God has made me a promise and it won't stop now. Sing your presence. Your presence is an open door. We want you, Lord, like. 
like never before, yes we do. Your presence is an open door, so come now Lord, like never before. Your presence is an open door, we want you Lord, like never Your presence is an open door, so come now, Lord, like never before. We're going to sing about breakthrough. Because I know that breakthrough is coming, and by faith, Yes, I see a miracle, and my God has made me a promise that it won't stop now. It won't stop now. Cause I know the breakthrough is coming, and by faith, yes, I see a miracle, and my God has made me a promise that it won't stop now. Yes, I know a breakthrough is coming.
as long as Jesus is in it with us, there's nothing that can overcome us. There's nothing that can bring us down. As long as you're in it, the story's not finished. I know you've overcome, so I know I'll overcome. As long as you're in it, the story's not finished. I know you've overcome, so I know I'll overcome. As long as you're in it, the story's not finished. I know you've overcome, so I know I'll overcome. As long as you're in it. stands before me and it is finished it is done yeah I heard you told death it was over so in your name I claim this fight is won Hear these words from 2 Corinthians. It says this, but he, God, answered me. And he said, my grace is always more than enough for you. And my power finds its full expression through your weakness. So I will celebrate my weaknesses. For when I'm weak, I sense more deeply the mighty power of Christ living within me. So I'm not defeated by my weakness, but delighted. But when I feel my weakness and I endure mistreatment, when I'm surrounded with troubles on every side and I face persecution because of my love for Christ, I am made yet stronger. For my weakness becomes a portal to God's power. Now the world will tell you that showing your signs of weakness isn't what you're supposed to do. But Christ will say, show it to me. Give it to me. I'll take it. And I will show you more strength than you could ever imagine. I will show you more endurance than you ever thought you could have. Because on our own, we can't get through hard times. On our own, we're going to concentrate on the wrong things. We're going to allow our minds to be taken captive by the wrong things that we're consuming. But when we recognize that we're deep within a, within a fire... When we have those moments where anxiety or depression or worry or anger or fear are consuming us, we can realize that we're not alone in that fire. We're not alone in that moment. We have Jesus Christ right there walking beside us. There is another with us, helping us through, helping us know that it's not the end, that we can get through this by his power, by his strength, not by ours. So no matter what we have faced in the last year, what we have gone through, we have never been alone. We have never been abandoned. God has never lost. He's there with us, walking with us, guiding us, 
the whole time. So may we put our trust, may we put our faith into action. When we sing these songs, when we go from this place, may our words and our actions show that we have a trust and we have a hope and we have a faith in a Christ who cannot be beaten, who cannot be overcome. So if you're feeling overwhelmed, if you're feeling anxious, afraid, feeling depressed, feeling isolated, feeling alone, there's another there with you. So as we sing this next song, concentrate on the fact that no matter what you're facing, there's no other name but the name of Jesus that can help release you from those chains, release you from that fire that is surrounding you. So may you surrender to the love of Christ as we continue to sing and give musical worship to God this morning. There's a grace when the heart is under fire Another way when the walls are closing in And when I look at the space between Where I used to be and this reckoning I know I will never be alone There was another in the fire Standing next to me There was another in the waters Holding back the seeds Should I ever need reminding Of how I've been set free There is a cross that bears the burden Where another died for me There was another in the fire Dead, left for dead beneath the waters And I'm no longer a slave to my sin anymore And should I fall in the space between What remains of me and this reckoning Either way I won't bow to the things of this world Cause I know, I know I will never be Jesus, 
He who was and still lives and will be through it all. So come on, may in the space between all the things unseen and this reckoning, I know I will never be alone. Cause I know, and I know. darkness bows to hell. I can hear the roar in the heavens as the space between was them. I can feel the ground shake beneath us as the prison walls came in. Nothing stands between us. Nothing stands between us. Be another in the fire. Standing next to me another in the waters he's holding back the seas should i ever need reminding could you bend to me i count the joy in every battle cause i know that's where you'll be i count the joy in every battle cause i know that's where you'll be Count the joy in every battle, cause I know that's where you'll be. I count the joy in every battle, cause I know that's where you'll be. I count the joy in every battle, cause I know that's where you'll be. As we sing this next song, would you please stand and join us? May we sing the declaration that Jesus truly is enough for us as a church. Maybe one church with one voice at this moment, as we sing the chorus that says, Jesus, you are enough. And this world's going to offer you a lot of things. And Satan's going to whisper a lot of lies into your ear that say he's not. May we rise above all of it as a church to say we're not going to be deceived by the lies of the enemy or the wealth of this world or what it promises. But we're going to stand right now, put a stake in the ground and say, no, Jesus, he's enough. and merciful 
giver of grace without end. You're satisfied simply by being who you've always been. You are infinite love and you prove it again and again. next part where we talk about the fact that we are created in Christ we are sustained in Christ we overcome because he overcame may you take your hands out in front of you if you're willing this is a sign that you want to receive so when people move their hands or raise their hands in worship it's not so that they can be showy it's so that they can worship God saying, I either want to surrender to you, God, or I want to receive something from you. So during this next part, if you're comfortable, and I encourage you to do it because when you put your whole self into worshiping God, it's amazing what can happen. So during this next part, I encourage you to put your hands out with your palms up saying, God, I want to receive from you your love your grace, your mercy. I want to acknowledge that you are enough and receive your love today. So as we sing this next part, I ask that you would just put your hands out. Get past that uncomfortable feeling of maybe the person next to me is judging me. They're not. And if they are, they need to put their hands out too. It's okay. And as we sing the rest of the song, after you want to receive, if you want to put your hands up and surrender and say, God, I want you to take control, do that. If you want to put them out, and say that you're here, that you just want to embrace Jesus. Do that too. Don't hold back in this moment as we continue to sing. we come to you saying that you are enough with palms open to receive your love with hands lifted for surrender with hands open wide to receive your embrace because when we, when we realize that worship is more than just a song it's more than just hearing a sermon it's more than just checking off boxes it's a life 
that we live in surrender to you because we know that you are enough. Lord, help us to know that in our hearts. Help us to know that in our minds, that you are enough, that no matter what this world promises us, no matter what the devil whispers or screams at us, Lord, help us not to be deceived by the enemy today, but help us to say that you are enough, that you are an amazing God who loves us so, so much. Lord, we thank you just for who you are, for everything that you have done, everything that you will do, and everything you are doing right now in our lives. We pray that you would give us hearts to understand, minds to comprehend, and ears to truly hear the message we are about to receive from your word. We love you. It's in your holy and gracious name. And all God's people agreed and said, amen. amen. You may be seated this morning.